Yo, what's good everyone? Your boy Deke back again with another vid. News dropped yesterday that former second round pick, former wide receiver for the Chicago Bears and Houston Texans, Anthony Miller, is set to visit with the Steelers today and also potentially sign with them. So let's do a quick breakdown of his NFL career slash backstory and then also if this would be a good move for the Steelers. So he went to school at Memphis and for his three seasons he played there, completely padded up the stat sheet as you can see. For his senior season was a consensus All-American and led the NCAA in receiving touchdowns with 18. And then after his senior season in 2018, he gets drafted in the second round, 51st overall by the Chicago Bears. The Chicago Bears select Anthony Miller, receiver, Memphis. And as we can see here, he was actually in the same draft as potentially current teammate James Washington selected nine spots ahead of him so that makes me wonder if Anthony Miller was still on the board when we were picking would we have chosen him over James Washington who knows and the reason I bring that up is because coming out of the draft Anthony Miller got comparisons to yes the best Steelers receiver of all time Antonio Brown I mean dude's got AB's touchdown celebration down pat and he's rocking one of AB's former numbers 17 I don't know, is 84 still available? So we know he got drafted by the Bears, but how did that tenure turn out? And also, why is he about to be on his third team in four seasons throughout his young NFL career, especially as a second round pick? So in his rookie year with the Bears, nice seven touchdowns, not too bad, 423 yards with 33 receptions. Had somewhat of a little breakout in his sophomore season, 52 receptions, 656 on the receiving yards, two touchdowns. And I think a lot of Bears fans, even some fantasy people were expecting a big jump from year two to year three, but we just did not see that. 49 receptions, 485 yards, and two touchdowns. And then eventually gets traded from the Bears to the Houston Texans. I'm gonna chalk his Bears tenure to Mitchell Trubisky. That's why it didn't really live up to what it probably should have been. I know he has an MVP at all, but there's a legitimate case that he was holding Anthony Miller back. And then how Anthony Miller ended up on the Texans, the Bears traded him. Bears traded Anthony Miller in a 2022 seventh round pick to the Houston Texans in exchange for a 2022 fifth round pick. His tenure with the Texans this year was not too decorated. Only two games, five receptions, 23 yards. Does have one touchdown though. Davis Mills, nice protection, makes a nice read. Anthony Miller back to the end zone, touchdown. As you can see here, one of the comments, this is a theme with Anthony Miller. Guy has so much potential. Hope a new team can get his career on the right path. So from what I read as to why Anthony Miller only played two games for the Texans this year, he was inactive for the first two games because they made Danny Amendola their main slot receiver. Amendola got hurt. Anthony Miller got the nod for weeks three and four, but then Amendola is working his way back and it seems like they only have room for one slot receiver in the system that they're running with Houston. The next thing we got to talk about though is, you know that phrase, history repeats itself? Well, that is definitely the case here because Anthony Miller initially signed with Jacksonville, but then decided against it and is looking to sign with the Steelers. Does that sound familiar? Oh. He copied my whole fucking flow! Oh, word for shit. word, bar for bar! Yes, Anthony Miller took a page out of Tyson Alualu's book, and I don't blame him. Jacksonville is not in a good spot. It doesn't seem like they can catch a break. But hey, maybe if they just grind it out this season, they could catch a dub or two. Now that it's looking likely that Anthony Miller is going to be signing with the Steelers, what's his role going to be? Do I think it's a good signing? One, right off the bat, this is a great signing because we need depth at receiver with Juju going down. He's going to be out for the season. But also our current number three receiver, James Washington, is dealing with a groin injury. So we could use all the help at the receiver position right now, which is crazy because I didn't think I'd be talking about our receiver depth, knowing that we had Juju, Claypool, Deontay Johnson, and James Washington heading into this 2021 season. But this is where we're at. But also, I like the move. From an upside standpoint, second round pick in 2018, I don't think he had the most optimal offensive scenario with Chicago, and he definitely didn't have that with the Texans either. See a lot of these comparisons, the AB still has a lot of potential, so I don't think this hurts us at all. Low risk, high reward, those are the type of moves you like to make. Right off the bat, I think James Washington is solidified as the Steelers' number three receiver as long as he's healthy. But Anthony Miller, I think, is an upgrade over Ray Ray McLeod. The last question is, was Anthony Miller the right receiver to pick up? There are some other names out there, and there's no doubt the Steelers were going to add a receiver to the room. But was Anthony Miller the right one? Let's go over some other names. We had Larry Fitzgerald. Golden Tate was out there. John Brown. And then I think there's one name that we're all thinking about. He's shown a lot of flash throughout his NFL career. Used to play here in Pittsburgh untapped potential things kind of ended badly but was there a chance for a return was there a chance for redemption yes i know we're all thinking dante moncrief 
But no, Martavis Bryant is the other name that I'm thinking about. I don't even think he's reinstated yet. I tried to do some research. There's literally only one NFL account that was talking about Martavis' reinstatement, so it wasn't Schefter, it wasn't Rappaport. I don't know how much validity there is to it, but he said that he talked to Martavis Bryant's agent directly and that he's trying to apply for reinstatement, and hopefully the decision is made over the next, like, two, three, four weeks. Um, but yeah, I don't even think he's reinstated yet in the NFL, so that kind of leaves Martavis out of it. And I don't think signing Anthony Miller takes away the potential if Martavis is reinstated for us to sign him as well. But out of the other names I talk about, I'm good with Anthony Miller. I think he has that nice combination of upside, especially with how old he is compared to the other receivers I mentioned, and some proven productivity in the NFL. And he was on a roster this year. I know most likes to talk about that, but he was through a full training camp with the Texans, even played a couple games this season, had a touchdown. So yeah, I think this was the right move. I honestly didn't even know he was a free agent, but it looks like teams were willing to sign him right off the bat after he was released by the Texans. So that's a good sign too. But let me know what you guys think of the Anthony Miller signing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think it's a great move. Low risk, high reward. Hope you enjoyed. Stay chilling and peace.